this is our dried results of um, my landscape swipe with texture from, was it Wednesday? Um, it turned out pretty nice for somebody who's not so great at this technique. Um, I do like it. I would like to be taking this outside. Alas, I cannot. So anyway, there's what that looks like. Buddy, welcome to Feral Art. Um, today it is the Sunday train and I've tried something new. Uh, <laughs> it's a combination of an open cup and about 97 other steps. So, um, I don't know. It's interesting. I think I probably should have thought about it more before I did it. Um, I'm calling it neural pathways because it's sort of the pictogram, I suppose, of how an idea starts just with something simple and then it goes through your brain and it goes through the machine, you know, and it, it morphs into something more. Um, I don't know. I had the idea one night sitting downstairs and I was like, oh, I have to do this. And I just came up and started painting and probably should have thought it out a little better. But it is what it is and it's finished and I'm gonna let y'all sit back and relax. I didn't talk through it because I didn't know what I was doing, literally. I was just going by the seat of my pants. So, off we go. Okay, all right, I came upstairs, had this half-baked idea about what I was gonna do and I wasn't really gonna do anything. I was just gonna find a canvas, which I did. And then things kind of went sideways and I started to paint without even thinking about it until I got this far and went, oh shoot, I'm supposed to do this part on camera, aren't I? Whoopsies. So, um, <laughs> This is um, uh, Artist Loft Metallic Blue. This is Pebeo Studios Iridescent Orange Yellow. And right now we're getting ready to hit it with Amsterdam Pearl Violet. Uh, next we have um, Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Absolutely, positively, 100% not least, is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. Okay, well, we'll see where we go from here, because right now I'm not...
This part down here, here's the top part, sort of. I'll be kind of careful, I got a bunch of paint sitting here on this table. So, anyway, let's see if this works. I'm gonna put a little puddle of black, a lot of air bubbles in there. Yowza. Okay, well, there we go. Little puddle of black little cup, a little black around the cup, just seal it a little bit, whoopsie, hey. and a little inside, there we go, and now we have the colors that are at the top, the metallic blue, oh, you know what, I'm just gonna just gonna add a little bit around here because I'm just not liking not having anything around it. Okay. The metallic blue. And I did make these pretty thin. And the iridescent orange yellow. And just a little bit of plain white, which we don't have up there, but I feel like we kind of need. And the uh, pearl violet. And the gold, 24K. And the, um, the metallic cobalt blue. I did make these thin on purpose because I want this cell action. Because when our paint colors come down through the machine and into the black, this is what happens. Yes, this is kind of a wacko idea that I had live with it. 
I am. I'm gonna put a little of this white in between here. Now I'm gonna twist this off because I want to do something else. I want to. I'm going to put me another little puddle of black. Overlapping this puddle. And I'm going to pour some more around. I'm not going to go around that side because I don't want it to make that differentiation right there. Just going to kind of go around here.
alcohol ink. This part is wet, that part is dry. I'm going to stand by the idea that this wasn't a horrible idea, that it had a legitimate, interesting beginning in that, you know, this is where our ideas start at the top, just colors. And then we put them through our braining machine and they come out into this. Uh, I don't know. I really do like this part. <laughs> I think it's really pretty. Um, I'll get down close here for you. Show you the, the close up. Got some really interesting and cool cells and effects. Black. And then come on over here. Come down. Um, I do like this part, the open cup. I think it's kind of pretty. Um, like many of our ideas, though, the execution of this probably could have been better. Maybe if someone else had been doing it. Uh, and, uh, I didn't, didn't measure anything. I didn't, you know, I wasn't terribly careful about it. Um, the alcohol ink did kind of discolor the white, which is okay with me. I wish that I could catch the, the how it sparkles, but I don't know whether I can. No, I can't from down here. <clears throat> Let's see if I can. No, it's just really not going to show you very well. You can kind of see it on the edge there. See the blue kind of sheen. There we go. That shows. But I can't do that for very long because we're still very wet down on the bottom. But anyway, I tried. Um, I don't know that it was a complete failure, but I don't think it's a complete success either. Um, but you know, we try. We try. And we see what we get. It's interesting. I'll probably have it for the rest of my life. <laughs> mm. Indeed. That kind of shows the sheen from the alcohol ink on the white. 